Grandma says this is my cauldron, but I better wait until I've learned how to use it. Um, so there's a magic tree in the woods. How will I know which one it is? Haven't you seen it? There's a little fence around it with a plaque. It's a landmark, old as the town itself. You haven't tried to chop it down, have you? No, not me. Absolutely not. Oh, good. The whole town would never forgive someone who chopped down that tree. Read this incantation in front of the tree. Hmm? If it decides you are worthy, it will gift you a branch for your wand. And if it doesn't decide I'm worthy? Why would that happen? My Aunt Vivian got her branch from the tree, and so did I. Potatoes will take a while. Keep watering. Over by the garden plots is your grandpa's old construction table. Hasn't been used much since Robert passed. But you can use it to build a compost bin. Great job. Now we just need to fill it with weeds and let it work its magic. Then we can start making garden beds. Hola. Hey, new girl, how's farm life treating you so far? I'm still figuring everything out. 
Well, let me know if anyone ever repairs the entrance to the mine by your farm. I run the jewelry shop, but it's a bit hard making jewelry without actual jewels, you know? Crafting beautiful pieces is one thing, but sourcing the stones is tough. I'll let you know. Watch out for Sophia. She likes to play matchmaker, and you're too cute to resist setting up. Wait, how did you know I was single? Oh, honey, it's a small town. Messenger Connor told me you said hello. I'm so pleased you two spoke. The building he transformed into the Consciousness Center was a real eyesore, and look at it now. He's a shining example of how to change a community for the better. I place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Bad time? Ugh, no. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor, the fairy always ran on time. Hey, do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? Thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them, did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. Look, I don't even like flowers that much, but I can set my own hours. I like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school. That's so nice. How old is the little guy? 16. But he still likes it when I make him a snack, okay? So, anything I can put in my bouquets? Stress no more, I found just the thing. See? They're pretty. Yes, those will do nicely. <sighs> it's hard sometimes. Filling all these orders to decorate the house I grew up in. Whoa, does the mansion go with the job? Yep. Anyway, thanks. You saved my butt. So, Otto's getting to know you game. Isn't it charming? Oh, I wish we could do something like that in Milkwater, but there's far too many people for it to be practical. That's why I love living in a small town. Hey, so my mom says your grandma's sick and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick, too. Well, technically, she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. Juliet's, like, always staring at Sebastian. Then, the minute he looks at her, she looks away.
Hey, how much do you remember about polynomial factorization? Sebastian, I don't even remember what that is. <laughs> That's what I told Miss Soft when she said I should pay more attention in Algebra 2. Okay, so I met everyone in town and reported back to Otto. So, is he super into keeping tabs on everyone? More than the last mayor, I guess. But strange things do happen here sometimes. Things you can't really explain. We gotta look out for one another. Can I ask you something? Did your grandma remember who you were when you saw her? Of course. Why? Oh. It's just, my grandpa doesn't remember me when we go visit him. Or sometimes he thinks Emmy is my mom. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> it's just silly. Emmy doesn't even look like my mom. Let's see, the inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? Wow! I mean, uh, uh thanks, magic tree! Is your wand ready? 
Yes. Look. Careful where you point that thing. Oh, my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through, so this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. It will be good. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Oh, it worked! Well done. Now, let's head on up. Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this Coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. I see. Far. Like you've got great vision? Visions. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. Are you the Farseer? What? Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. Though a nearsighted Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You've no idea who I am. I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to sit here playing guessing games? Or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up. And there won't be much left of you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. <laughs> One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. Have you built the paper press? Go in there. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. We meet every night. 
Have you built the paper press yet? Ah, uh, you think that tool shed on your farm is there for decoration? Go in there and build a paper press. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, your magicalness. High Priestess works fine, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, High Priestess, how long has this coven been in Fairhaven? Witches have always been drawn here, and because of that, the coven has been here for many, many generations. I welcome you to this gathering. Hey! You can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet you, but I'm not supposed to speak to you much yet. Am I ready for bed? <sighs> oh good, you're up. The mayor's called a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. Do you think it's some kind of trouble? Ah. Uh, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. <laughs> I'd better follow Grandma. Settle down, everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings-on in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Me neither. I've seen strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah. And folks in robes and masks, wandering around after sunset. Yes! Yes, good. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, I'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this. No matter the cause, we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for roustabouts and unsavory types. I ask all of you to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief. And if you see anything, Report it to me. Or me, if you'd prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never. Mayor Otto, soft on business. <laughs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his fancy britches wife standing up there and casting judgment on others. Uh-oh. You're even madder than I thought. 
He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors, to be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other? I wish it were that simple. But just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due, and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? <laughs> oh, heavens no. But if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Thanks again for helping me out with the thistles. No problem. Have you planted the tulip seeds I gave you? If you grow flowers in your garden beds, you can attract bees. First, you need to build a beehive for them. Here's some instructions. If you keep the bees happy, they'll make honey and beeswax. The more flowers, the faster the bees can produce honey. So plant plenty. Uh, do I really want to keep bees, though? Won't they sting? Bees can feel your intentions. You just have to come at them with the right energy. Come back when you have honey to sell, and I'll buy some from you. Hey, Violet. Can I ask you about Marisoft's getting to know you game? It's so creepy, right? My dad totally didn't make people do that when he was mayor. Otto made a lot of changes since he took office, but he's mayor at least until this fall. For better or worse. Juliet told me you said hello to her. Thank you. That girl is so shy. Well, teenagers have a lot going through their heads. It's no wonder some of them deal by just not talking. Mm. Her father passing so unexpectedly hasn't helped. How's the farm? Are you inundated with chores yet? There's not that much to do, honestly. The farm seems so much smaller now that I'm an adult. Hmm. When I first came here, I didn't think I'd have much work either. But living things, plants and people, are always growing, changing, becoming run down. And caring for them takes a lot of time. Hi, it's me again. I've been trying to help out my grandma, but I don't know much about farming at all. Yep. Like I said, not so easy. Hazel's got some of the best soil on the island. Shame for it to go to waste. Look, city girl. Just water your plants and you'll do fine. Your grandma was one of the first folks who came to greet me when I moved here. She brought me some fresh veggies and some soup. It made me feel real welcome. I'm glad you've come to take care of her. How's your father doing, Tara? Dad? Oh, right. You know him. I almost forgot. He used to babysit me, since both my parents worked. I was very sorry to hear about his falling out with your grandmother. Hi, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little... More overwhelming than others. <laughs> hey, if you ever feel like your blood sugar is running low, hit up my fiancé's bakery. His croissants are divine. A little too divine. I'm very lucky I have a fast metabolism. Wait, so has Sophia actually ever been successful at making a match? Why? Are you interested in her services? Oh, she'll be loath to resist. 
Angus, seriously, has she? <laughs> nope, not it, not even once. Great. It's cool that you're helping Hazel with the farm. Are you uh planning to take it over one day? I still don't even know if I can make a single seed sprout. <laughs> Give it time. When my pa ran the bar, I used to make a mess every time I tried to help out. And look at me now. So, what's your favorite wave you have ever surfed? Brah, that's like asking me to pick my favorite child. But Pavones in Costa Rica is like the longest longboard wave. It just goes on forever. Pure bliss, man. Mom and Dad say that Emmy and I will get into big trouble if we play near the mine. But I know that there's treasure in there. Maybe there's even monsters. Ben, mines don't have monsters in them. That's just silly. Then how come nobody's fixed it yet? Fair warning, Mom might try to overload you with food. Feeding people is, well, like her love language. I tried convincing Mom that I could babysit Finn since I'm older. By like what? A minute? Seven minutes. It totally counts. I asked Violet if I should help her out in the store, and she got all offended. The store is like her thing, I guess. Plus, she said I had to focus on school so I could get into a good college. But pro skateboarders don't need college degrees. So what did you do back in the city? I was an editor for an online news magazine. Oh, you were a journalist. Huh. Our little newspaper folded not too long after the mine closed. I think the town is better for it, to be honest. Editorials tend to stir up negative feelings and pit neighbor against neighbor. Fairhaven has been more peaceful without it. Now, thanks. Have you been to Violet's flower shop yet? I try to support her business as much as I can. Her dad got a job off island, and I know he sends money home and all, but it's got to be tough taking care of her brother all on her own. I could. Got it? You come back and let me know. I can make a... Got it? You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But 
I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members. Your grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. But how can you see fish if they're underwater? <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes? Here, take this rod. Keep your eyes peeled whenever you're near water for the shadows of swimming fish. When you see them near the surface like that, you know they're feeding. The trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook, instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Hey, you're not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one, and then reel it in. Wait, 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 back up. How do I cast my line? <laughs> You'll get the hang of it. The lake in the woods is a nice place to start. Uh, but take care, you hear? Don't go in those woods after sunset. I've seen things... well, you wouldn't believe me. My boy Otto didn't need it till he saw it for himself. Just stay safe and come back and see me after you've given it a few tries. Remember, keep your eye out for fish... That's how you know where to cast your line. Remember, keep your eye out for fish swimming in the water. That's how you know where to cast your line. I think Lena's kids must have messed with the doors of the schoolhouse. She sure was at a temper last night. Was muttering something about the locks.
time I could make. I'm all I could make. for bed. <sighs> I can't believe you've even managed the farm on your own this long, Grandma. Well... Robert left things in good shape when he passed, and Thomas has been a... a help. More than the help, though, I've missed having company. Alina stops by now and again, but... But it's so nice having you here, honeybee. Potatoes, keep watering. It will be good to have the garden in. How are those beans for- They are not- What? I can't thank you enough for helping out here, sweetheart. Are the potatoes ready to harvest?
Yes, Grandma. Here's four potatoes from the field. Ooh, wonderful. Maybe you've got a greener thumb than you thought. Why don't you take them down to the general store and sell them? I'm sure Lena will give us a fair price for them. It will be good to have the garden in full bloom again. How are those beans for Thomas going? They are not ready yet, Grandma. Well, just keep watering them. They'll come in time. So I'm not much of one for gossip, but I heard you had some bad luck right before moving here. In small town and all. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I lost my job, and my fiancé, and then my lease didn't get renewed. Oof, that is a bad run. Well, hopefully your luck will turn around now that you're here. Mine sure has. Sophia's half Italian. Did you know that? So her espresso is the real deal. I never thought I would find good coffee on a little island like Fairhaven. Oh, oh, you know who's single? Messenger Cameron. He's the greatest guy. Well, Francis isn't a fan, but he's probably a wee bit jealous because I ramble on about the Consciousness Center all the time. And then I'm like, Francis, Cameron doesn't even play for our team. You don't have to be so catty about the league. <laughs> and then he gets mad because I said he was being catty. Hi, Tara. I have been meaning to tell you. I love that little jacket dress combo. No one in Fairhaven cares much about fashion, other than Francis, Sophia, and myself. Oh, thanks. That must have been one nice thing about living in the city. So many chic outfits to look to for inspiration.
I don't know. I think fashion in the city gets so competitive that everyone starts copying each other. We all end up looking the same. Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. I guess there's some advantages to being stuck in a small town. Don't get me wrong. I like selling flowers, but my real dream is to open up my own boutique someday. When I do, folks from Milkwater will be coming here to check out the latest styles instead of the other way around. Did the bees make any honey yet? No, but they're working on it. I think? It, it's hard to tell. Make sure you give them lots of flowers. A good variety helps too. Has Damon hit on you? Or have you not met him? I, um, uh... You're new and cute, so it won't be long if he hasn't yet. <laughs> I like Hazel. She reminds me of my grandmother. When I came out, my dad had a hard time with it. Obasan told him to get over himself. <laughs> ah, I really miss her. Sometimes I think I'll get tired by all of the perfectly beautiful days here, but I never do. You seem very cosmopolitan. Uh, Amira or, or, or Dr. Syed? Oh, gosh. Amira is fine. There's no need for formalities in a town with one restaurant. Fairhaven is by far the smallest place I've ever lived. But I've adjusted, and so will you. Wonderful. You got the look of a lifelong angler in your eyes now. <laughs> oh, now here's a real challenge. Catching a certain fish is about the right bait, the right place, and luck. I got a hankering for some nice, fresh striped sea bass. They're ocean fish, so you gotta go to the beach. They might go for a worm, but you'll have better luck with this. In the future, you can keep bait fish you catch to try and hook bigger and more valuable fish. Come back when you caught one. Haven't caught a striper yet, huh? Remember, fishing is about patience. Keep trying. I sure wish Vanessa would pick a different profession. I think it's making her not like kids so much. And I want grandchildren someday. I remember how much fun you and Hazel had when you were small. I can't help but hope to have that too. It really looks like you've been around the world, Kai. Well, yeah. Back when I was doing the pro circuit, I hit up a lot of places. But I've been keeping it local lately. Less stress. Hey there, new girl. Pass a message to Hazel for me? As long as it's appropriate. Tell her that during my last shift, I didn't break a single glass. What? It's been a goal for a long time. So, how are your parents? Oh, I'm, I'm realizing I don't know their names. I always called them Mr. and Mrs. Dahl. It's all right. You could call my dad Marcus now, if he still lived here. He's in a retirement home in Milkwater. 
and Lisa, that's my ma, passed away eight years ago. I am really sorry to hear that. It's okay. All in the past, right? Lena's been on me to make kids quit pranking everyone. They rigged the door to the town hall to rain glitter on Otto's head when he turned the handle. <laughs> I mean, you've got to appreciate the engineering skills that took. Am I right? strength I could make or buy I dared Emmy to go in Shelby's cabin when he wasn't around but she was too chicken to do it I wonder what he keeps in there I bet it's something really weird I think that's just his home, Finn. And you shouldn't go in without being invited. I know, I know. Maybe I just don't have a good memory. But when I was little, didn't your farm look different? Probably. I was growing more kinds of crops back then. That was right after my mom left the farm to me. I was ambitious in those days. <laughs> Tried growing a little bit of everything. Now I grow what actually suits the soil.
I could. Have you ever thought about being the High Priest? Nah, nah. I'm good at the prophecy and, and the muttering, not so much the leading. Besides, there's all the paperwork. Coven leaders have to do paperwork? <laughs> sure. Mounds. Great. Just what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations of spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. The next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. I've had a hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. Is all the secrecy and fancy speech getting to you yet? <laughs> Is it that obvious? <laughs> I was the same at the start. It's annoying, but worth it. As you may have sensed, your grandmother doesn't believe in keeping our identities secret. It's a noble idea, but I've concluded that it isn't practical. You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. But actually writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh no. No, no. The coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring. The source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it than we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on and offer something to the wellspring. Over time, you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. It means 
sound silly, but I'm curious to know what everyone else's familiars are like. The altar is where we perform important rituals, like turning the season. Continue with your training, honeybee, and you'll be prepared when the moment comes. Whoa, so now I can cast spells? Cool! Careful. We must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron, and we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay, I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. Cast any good incantation spells lately? Uh... No. Ugh, me either. I'm not very good at them. Potions, though. I'm a killer. Should I go to bed? Did you know I grew up in the city, too? Oh, this farm was my Aunt Vivian's place. Oh, she was a firecracker, that one. Ran it all on her own. She never did marry. Said she had no use for a husband. <laughs> I think she left a lot of broken hearts in her wake, though. Do you belong to my grandma? Meow. Oh, you're a good kitty. Grandma, you didn't tell me you have a cat. A cat? <laughs> the last cat I had was old Shadow, rest his soul. He wasn't much to look at, but he was a darn good mouser. This cat isn't yours? <laughs> she seems awfully familiar with your garden. 
no. I don't own that cat. What a notion. She's a good friend to have around, though. So play nice. Oh, look at the head scratches. So, Lena says you knew each other when you were kids? Yeah. Well, she was a bit older. She would babysit me from time to time. I have a hard time picturing Lena as a kid. She's always so self-possessed and in charge. Oh, you mean running the general store? Yep. And, uh, you know, taking care of her kids. This is the homiest diner I have ever been in. Do you run it all by yourself? Oh, I've always been the only owner. Though my husband Giacomo used to help me. He passed two years ago. Pancreatic cancer. Oh, Sophia, I, I didn't know. Hazel was so sweet to me. She knew what it felt like on account of your nano's passing. So, the schoolhouse here, is that where you went to school? Sure did. That's when the other Mrs. Soff, Otto's mom, was the teacher. She was a free spirit. Liked to hold class out on the beach. It's funny Otto turned out the way he did, given his parents. <laughs> this location is great for foot traffic, but brah. The smells coming out of Sophia's diner totally give me the munchies. It's so nice that you came back here to be with Hazel. She reminds me a lot of my abuela. Of course, she doesn't seem like she'll smack you with a chancla for talking during her novelas, but other than that... If you're not seeing any fishy shadows in the water, come back later. They're not always biting. Sardo coming out of the jewelry shop again. Can't say how he affords it, even on the mayor's salary. Anything to keep the missus happy, huh?
I don't have any bait. Maybe I should visit Bruno's shop? I could make or buy... Oh, there. What? How are those beans for there? Well. Oh, I meant to ask you, have you met Parker the carpenter yet? He really helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members. Ugh. What's wrong, Natalia? The twins put bath bombs in my slack tub. Again. I just finished cleaning it out from the last time. How's it going, Parker? Fine. I just had another parent-teacher conference with Vanessa. I get that my kids can be a handful sometimes, especially Finn. But aren't their antics pretty age-appropriate? Nowadays, it's all impulse control this, attention deficit that. Just seems some folks are quick to pathologize normal kid behavior, at least for certain kids. It must be nice living with your grandma. She makes really good pie. Don't tell Sophia, but I like Hazel's better. Am I ready for bed? 